Hello everyone, welcome to Renault Talks IP. I'm Renault Lavoie with Read All Communication. Today's topic, what's the difference between ST2110 and ST2022-6? So you hear a lot about those two video SDI over IP, your gateways, but what, what's the main differences of those two standards? And what's the use cases as well? And which one apply to your application? So I will try to demystify that for you today. So let's start with 2022-6. 2022-6, as we can see on my left side, uh, the, this is the entire SDI frame. So 2022-6, it's really simple. We take the SDI, entire frame, blankings, active video, audio, ancillary, and we packetize that to send it over the IP. Everything. So we don't look at active versus blanking. We send everything. So what's happening there is we take the line and we cut it in packets. So the packets has to respect one thing called the MTU, the maximum transmission unit. Usually it's a, we refer it as a thousand five hundred bytes. So, but people will ask, yeah, but what about jumbo packet? Jumbo packet, if you don't know, are about 9,000 bytes. They are not supported in 2022-6 nor in 2110. So we did an, 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 an we did an implementation for a customer for with the jumbo packet, but this was a really a, a specific use cases. I will say avoid to do that to keep the interoperability in those standards. So I explained to you that the 2022 took all the content and sent it on one multicast unicast flow. So let's talk about unicast for a minute and, and multicast. So the unicast are, as the name stated, it's a one sender to multiple destination. Cool thing with IP, it's enabled us as a broadcast to remove this distribution amplifier because I go from one to multiples. So now here's the downside of it. IT network engineer really don't like it because if your network it's not properly configured, then you will flood all the ports. The multicast will become a broadcast and all your ports from all your switches will be flooded, which is really not good. Um, so in a studio, it's accepted for the video and, and ancillary and audio, it's accepted that we can use multicast. But in the cloud or in the wide area network, eh, try to avoid that, they will never pass. There's, there's a progress to make them pass in a cloud and, and, and a wide area network. But like I said, eh, IT engineers don't like them. Unicast, on the other point, it's a point-to-point -point connection. So you're good for cloud, you're good for wide area network. So let's go back to 2110 now. So 2110, again, my SDI frame, we remove the blanking. We keep the audio, we keep the ancillary, and we keep the active video. We call this protocol SN splitting. We'll split those three flavors and send them on three different flows. Of course, if you look at about the audio, you may say, okay, but I want to send it to multiple, more than just one multicast or unicast. And this is right. So there's another Renault Talks IP where I will address with the good number of the audio um, multicast or unicast flows. So if we summarize before going to the next step, uh, what's 2022-6? A mapping, a direct mapping of SDI to IP. And what's, what is 2110? Uh, essence splitting, breaking apart audio, video, and ancillary. So that's the main difference. Now, let's talk about the 2110 parts. 2110, it's really complex. So they break it in different parts. So the part 10, it's called the system timing. So system timing will define the PTP under 2059.1 1 and 2 to realign your essence. The dash 20, it's there for the uncompressed video. Dash 21 was the shaping of uncompressed video. We did a Renault Talks IP about the narrow and the wide sender. That's exactly dash 21. So dash 22, it's the compressed, it's the container for your compressed video. Meaning that we don't define which codec you can use. We define the container, how to send it in your network. Dash 30, uh, the audio, the PCM audio. Dash 31, bit transparent audio for compressed. Dash 40, ancillary. Dash 50, 2022-6, 
over 2110? Really? And you can ask yourself why we do that. Because 2022-6, it's still useful if you do play out, if you do transport, and you don't want to mix and match your essence. On the other hand, 2110 is super useful if you do a production, if you want, let's say, to shuffle the audio, if you want to play with your, your signal separated, if you want to take your audio AS67 and you send them directly to the audio room. You don't want to carry the video, you don't want to increase the size of the switches just because you have some audio you want to send somewhere. So that's the main difference of those two. That's the use cases of those two. So I hope this was really good for you. I hope you learned something today. Please feel free to send me any question, any comments you had on IP. I will be pleased to answer that in my future Renault Talks IP. And for more information, please visit readall.net. I wish you a good day. Thank you.